Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, ESG framework ensures aligning operations with ethical practices, says Mr. Atanubhamik, DIC, in workshop on ESG at sale, Raukila Steel Plant. Two-day program Sampurna held for women employees at CPTI of sale, RSP. And Raukila Steel Plant renews MOU with Akshay Patra Foundation to provide nutritious midday meal to 35,000 school children. RSP to spend about Rs 2.8 crores per annum. Now the news in detail. ESG framework provides the essential tools to meet stakeholder expectations and ensures aligning operations with ethical practices said Mr. Tanubhamik, director in charge, while speaking in the inaugural session of Learn From Each Other workshop on environment, social and governance, held at the Gopabandhu Auditorium of Sale Rockilla Steel Plant on 13th November 2024. The one-day workshop was attended by more than 60 participants from Bukaro Steel Plant, Bhilai Steel Plant, Durgapur Steel Plant, IIS, CO Steel Plant and RSP. Mr. Tarun Mishra, EDHR with the additional charge of ED projects, Mr. Alok Verma, ED Mines with the additional charge of ED works and Mr. D.K. Shetty, Head Social and Ethical Compliance, Sustainability Services, South Asia Region Bureau Wilters were also present on the dais. Many CGMs and senior officers of the plant were also present on the occasion, highlighting the importance of adopting best practices to drive meaningful change. The DIC further said, our shared vision of a sustainable future ensures that our business thrives, communities prosper and the environment is preserved for future generations. He encouraged all participants to actively contribute to RSP's journey toward obtaining the responsible steel certification at the earliest. Mr. Bhomik also inaugurated the implementation of the ESG framework at RSP. Mr. Mishra in his address spoke on the evolution of the global economy from the agrarian 17th century to the industrial era in the 20th century and now to the technology driven and ESG focused 21st century, tracing the journey from coal as a primary fuel to nuclear energy and the current emphasis on alternate energy. He stressed the growing importance of responsible business practices in industries. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Verma emphasized upon exploring innovative ways to reduce carbon footprint, keeping in mind societal impact and sustainable growth. He also spoke on the importance of efficient waste management, effective resource management and ensuring biodiversity for a responsible organization. Delivering a detailed overview of the ESG framework, Mr. Shetty discussed the importance of tracking organizational performance metrics to measure progress in ESG initiatives. Mishrashi Energy CGM HR LND in a welcome address spoke about the significance of the ESG framework for the organization. At the outset, the dignitaries lighted the ceremonial lamp to mark the inauguration of the workshop. Ms. Vinita Tirki, manager HR LND, coordinated the inaugural function. Notably, during the day long session, Mr. Shetty and Ms. Raki Sen, GM EMD, sale deliberated on different topics associated with ESG. An action plan was presented at the end of the day by the group of participants. A two-day program titled Sampurn, a move towards holistic living for women employees focusing on enhancing physical, emotional and spiritual well-being was held at the Central Power Training Institute on 29th and 30th October 2024. In all, 22 women employees from across the plant, ranging between S3 to E5 levels, participated in the program that aimed at empowering participants to contribute more effectively at the workplace by fostering a balance between professional and personal life. The sessions covered a wide array of topics related to holistic wellness, including yoga and pranayam, workplace empowerment, happiness, stress management and financial literacy. Session on Surya Namaskar and Pranayam was conducted by Mr. Heman Jena, Master Technician RSE, while Ms. Sangeeta M. Sindhur, Senior Manager HR, spoke about getting empowered at workplace. Mr. B. Nahak, AGM CP2, dealt with the topic of seven pillars of happiness. 
while Dr. Shivalkar, additional CMO medical, spoke on holistic well-being. On the second day, the participants delved deeper into the balancing work-life dynamics with the session work-life balance. The blues and pinks led by Mr. Prashant Kumar Pedapuri, GM projects followed by resourceful networking by Mr. R. Patidar, AGM instrumentation, know your finances by Mr. R. K. Lenka, DGM f and and an engaging session on stress management and relaxation techniques by Mr. P. K. Padi, GM in charge, SPP. The program concluded with a feedback and valediction ceremony presided over by Mr. H. Pati, GM HR l &D. The event was coordinated by Ms. Annapurna Behra, Senior Manager HR l &D, with support from D. Puran, OCT HR l &D. The MOU between Raukula Steel Plant and Akshay Patra Foundation for provision of midday meal to 35,000 school students on every working day was renewed on 11th November. In a meeting organized at Institute for Peripheral Development, CSR Department, Mr. P. K. Swain, CGM in charge, TA and CSR RSP, and Mr. Aurobindo Lenka, General Manager, Operations and HR, Odisha Zone Akshay Patra Foundation, Odisha signed the MOU in the presence of officials of both CSR and TAPF. The MOU is valid for a period of three years, benefiting 35,000 students of government and government-aided schools of Latikata and Bisra revenue blocks. For Aukla Steel Plant, the financial commitment will be approximately Rs 2.8 crores per annum. It is worth mentioning here that Akshaya Patra project is being implemented in Raukela with the combined effort of Raukela Steel Plant, Akshay Patra Foundations and Government of Odisha since the year 2014. RSP had made a capital investment of Rs 8.24 crores for setting up of the entire facility and is also contributing annually for the operation of the project. And with this we come to the end of this news bulletin. Namaskar.